neighbors. The other day I uh, was out in the forest and made a little movie where I used uh, where I used my Optimus 111T, 111T, <laughs> whatever, uh, to make myself a guru. This one. And, uh, yeah, you know the type. And. Uh, But um, yesterday uh, I was uh, going to pick up my wife um, and uh, she was a little bit late, I had to wait for her. And, uh, so I uh, went into the local Salvation Army charity shop, shop. <laughs> and uh, after about a minute I spotted this, another one. And I picked it up for twelve dollars, <laughs> uh, eight, seven or eight pound, thirty-nine Norsk krona. <laughs> and it's complete. <laughs> Well, it lacks the funnel and uh, and um, and the little uh, priming fuel bottle. But uh, other than that, it's uh, okay. So I thought I'd show you how to uh, light this up properly, uh, not like I did in the forest. So uh, and uh, well, I cleaned up the tank yesterday. Uh, because it had some pine needles in it and the fuel that was there <laughs> was very dirty. So uh, that's all I've done to it. I've not cleaned this up at all. Uh, I only cleaned the tank, flushed out the tank and refilled with uh, clean paraffin. Uh, kerosene for you Americans or whatever you want to call it. So um, let's uh, get started. So here it is, let's just uh, get this thing started. Uh, you just open the lid, like that. Remove the priming fuel bottle and the funnel. And uh, control valve thing and slide the tank forward. And that's it. Um, very simple design. Uh, this is the where you fill the fuel on the tank. I use kerosene or paraffin, yeah. Uh, and uh, it's a pressure tank, so you have to pump pressure with the pump here. And uh, it's got a safety uh, valve here, but the pressure is not very big. Normal with normal use in there. Um, so, what uh, I like to do is take off the windshield because it's in, in the way and then just put it on after. So, uh, and I like to use a funnel to, uh, to put in the priming uh, fuel into the pan there. Uh, it's a little bit cumbersome to, <laughs> you can't really. Uh, do that without spilling any, so that's why I use the funnel. Some people like to use a syringe or whatever, or just pour gently from the top, but I tend to spill um, fuel all over <laughs> the place when I do that, so um, I like to uh, use the funnel and uh, just pour carefully uh, until the pan is uh, full to the brim. Um, it's about minus 5 degrees and this fuel has been sitting outside all night <laughs> so it's very cold so it uh, can be difficult to to start it yeah. so we just uh, light the alcohol but when uh, you have a bad lighter or, <laughs> or the alcohol is very cold 
Uh, what you can do is just stick a soca stick like this in uh, in your alcohol and um, light that and then put the stick in the flame and because you need to heat up uh, alcohol to make it burn when it's cold like today it's minus uh, minus five degrees Celsius so it will take a while before uh, this cold alcohol will uh, start to burn see it's still not burning My stick is on fire though. <laughs> there it's going. Night, <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> my kid there wants to come out. Um, yeah, and then. Uh, when you have lit the uh, alcohol, just put the wind windscreen on, and uh, then you just have to let it burn. Uh, so it will take a few minutes. You uh, basically let it burn until all the the fuel has burned out in the the preheating pan. When the fuel have the preheating fuel have uh, burned down a bit, I uh, like to pump up the tank. So I pumped uh, 12 times. Sucks. That should uh, do it. And only then do I attach the control valve to the spindle. Because if you pump with the control valve in, you risk uh, destroying the lead gasket that sits in the spindle, and uh, that will cause a fuel leak. So you want to avoid that. Um, it's not really dangerous if you're using kerosene, but if you're using uh, gasoline as your fuel, <laughs> um, you want to avoid leaks at all cost. It's uh, safe. To so now I just uh, let it burn out completely before I uh, light it because if you light it too quickly you risk underburn and then you just turn just put two fingers on the knob turn gently open up and you hear the gas and you light it and then you can turn it on slowly uh, if you turn it fully around, there's a cleaning needle inside the jet, inside there, that will come up, and uh, you can see that the flame goes down if I do that. That is to clean the, the jet uh, from soot and dirt, so that the fuel can uh, come up clean. Um, now the flame is nice and blue, there's the odd yellow um, in there, uh, that means that it's not a 100% clean burn, but I think this is uh, acceptable. So uh, I just uh, put the kettle up. I'm not going to time this for you. <laughs> uh, so uh, I think uh, with craft that uh, being outdoors is not a timed event. Uh, I have time when I go out, so uh, I don't care how, how long it takes me to boil some water. Um, and, uh, but with this system it's fairly quick. So uh, I will not uh, uh, 
ska att du sitter nu ut för detta. Okej, okay, det var inte spårigt längre än gärs. Men... Uh, okay. Ja, han är en rolling boy. Så. And then... You can just turn it down. Gently. The two uh, fingers on the knob. Turn it down to a simmer. You see that? Uh, then it's just to... Uh, then it's just to pour yourself a nice cup. For God to tell me how to switch this thing off. So you just lift off the kettle. With the... With the two fingers on the control knob. Just turn it gently. Until the flame is out. That's it. And you can return that and uh, just let it cool down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my little boy is getting impatient now, so cheers and uh, goodbye.